Hello and welcome to the Fitting In Fitness interview series. My name is Catherine Basu. I'm the owner of Fit Armadillo and I'll be your host for the series. And I'm so excited that you are joining us today. This series is perfect for you and you're in the right place if you are a busy woman who is looking for a more compelling reason to stick to her fitness routine than just to look cute in your skinny jeans. So if that's you, you're in the right place. I'm excited that you're here. And during the series, what I'm doing is talking to some amazing rock star female entrepreneurs and business owners about how they fit fitness into their busy lives. So you're not going to just be hearing from me, a personal trainer who might be a little bit biased when it comes to wanting to help you get started with the routine. You'll also hear from women who, you know, aren't, that's not their main profession. So they're going to give you some good, good secrets and tips. They'll tell you how they got started why they feel that fitness has a positive impact on their lives and their business. And then they'll also tell you how you can get started as well. So give you some inspiration and some tips so that you can put that into action in your life. So I'm so excited you're joining us. And I want to introduce today's guest to you today. She's all the way from the Netherlands. So I, and I'm, I've been having trouble pronouncing her name. So I'm going to give it a go. And then she's going to have to help me <laughs> probably repeat it the right way. Um, so we'll, we'll see how I do. But my guest today is Stephanie de Gois, and she is a copywriter, editor, blogger, and crazy passionate, I love that, about telling stories, especially that of passionate girl bosses. We have that in mind. <laughs> she helps people rocket their jobs, taking care of the copywriting and editing so they can focus on growing their businesses. So this is important for a lot of us that are probably watching. In her free time, she runs, tries to do a decent push-up, and trains for triathlons. So, Stephanie, welcome. Thank you so much for joining. How do we really say your name? <laughs> De Goes. Oh, my goodness. I have to practice yeah, a lot more. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult. It's right. you, you, you did a good shot, though. It's, it's good. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'll, I'll keep practicing before our next interview. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm going to test you on that one. <laughs> oh, geez. Now, now it's, on, it's recorded, so I have to really yeah. be honest with, <laughs> with myself and my audience. Well, I'm, I'm so glad, really, that you are taking the time to join us today all the way from the Netherlands. So, Yes, well, thank you for having me. I love it. That's awesome. And we'd love to hear, you know, just to get us started, kind of what's a, a day in the life of Stephanie look like? Well, um, when I get up, I usually just have a cup of tea. Um, do some journaling, a bit of writing to, to get me warmed up. M mostly I start with my own um, blog stuff. Just, I want to start a day off with something fun. Not that I don't like my client work, but just to get the creative juices going. Yep. <laughs> and then uh, I'm on fun to client work, do some emails, and then mostly around lunchtime, if it's run day, I'll head out for a run or I'll do my other trainings and then get back into, um, into client work to wrap around five-ish, half five. And then get, get cracking on dinner and spend the evening watching movies, relaxing, or if I'm on a deadline working, I'm sorry to say. Sometimes I work till about 10 and I'm like, hmm, that's not the best thing. I know. That's something I, I one of my goals for the year, because fitness is you know usually not a resolution of mine because it's something that I really enjoy, but getting more sleep. And I think a lot of us as entrepreneurs struggle with that because we love what we do, we're excited about it. There's always something else to do. So it's hard to really yeah. make that stop point. <laughs> yeah, this this morning I had to and then really leave really early. I had to be on a train to go somewhere. And I was thinking, oh, I'll be home really late. And I really want to do my workout this morning. So I set my alarm for six. So I'm a bit sleep deprived now. <laughs> oh, well, you, you don't you don't seem it. So <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. So I think you, you did touch on this a little bit, but in your day, so you try to fit in fitness um, at around yes. noon, but is that most is that typical for your day or? Well, I used to do it in the morning, just get up early, start with a workout or a run or something, and then I just noticed that I didn't have a lot of energy. I usually eat like a really heavy breakfast. I just love mashed banana and oatmeal. It's, it's my <laughs> it's my all time favorite, but it means I'm full up to about eleven. Yeah. So there's no way I can do I can do running without it just bouncing up my nose. So it's just not going to happen. So I decided just to start the morning early and just start writing everything and then just see and just have a good breakfast, make sure that I'm properly fed, and then try running in the in the during lunch and that just works perfectly. 
That's awesome. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. You know, I think it's good that everyone has their own time. I find that I don't often work out in the morning. I usually have at least one client first. So I, you know, because people like to train early. So I try to eat something, have the client and then work out. But for me, if I don't work out early, that can actually be really tough for me. Just, you know, staying focused. I don't know. I don't know why. But um, so I do try to get an earlier workout in. But it, but it's a good point that you need to know, like, when it actually makes yeah. sense for you. Yeah, it, it did help me in, in when I was doing my morning workout. It just it felt more energized during the day, especially when I had an, an office job. Yeah. But now I just feel like my workouts are better if I'm doing them in the afternoon and I'm more awake. And I'm, since I'm training for triathlons and everything, I want to just have my body functioning when yeah. I'm actually doing them. Be more warmed up. Yeah, that's definitely important. Yeah, and awake. <laughs> Very cool. So now, did you always, were you always a triathlete? Did you always have fitness as part of your routine? <laughs> no, no, no. I, mean, I, used, I used to be horrible. I couldn't, I couldn't run for even a minute without just feeling exhausted for the entire day. I was the, I was, you know, the, the girl with the braces and the, the weird hair and the big glasses who just always got picked last in sports. Yeah, that, that was me. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was horrible. Nobody wanted me on their team. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't hold a ball. I couldn't do volleyball, nothing. The only thing I was good at was badminton and swimming. So I just really got into this about, I think about two years now, I started running. And then my one of my best friends, she really got into triathlon, so I really wanted to try it. And by accident, I found this, this triathlon clinic last year. I was like, oh, just go and do it. I loved it. And that was it, really. That's awesome. Yeah. Very yeah. cool. So really like that's a really interesting way of getting it I mean I, I'm kind of similar like I growing up I was very I'm, I mean I'm still uncoordinated but because I was uncoordinated I had the same experience of like not wanting to be on the you know no one wanted to pick me on their team in gym I really didn't like gym class and it was running that kind of got me into other other areas where maybe for you like yeah. swimming was able to get you into the triathlon so that's really cool <laughs> Yeah, and it's it's, it's funny because uh, my friend who got into triathlon, she she wasn't into sports when she was younger, and she she wasn't athletic at all. And, and now now we're planning to do a half marathon next together next year. So it's both really excited to to be about in the same level. So that's really good. Awesome. So yeah. that's really exciting. So it's been a, a more recent thing, but something that uh. Been... Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, and, and and like you said, it did help me lose weight and everything. Um, so that that was really good. But uh, no, I've I've never <laughs> I've never been into sports. Just swimming, though. No, that was that was fun, but nothing much else. Awesome. I'm glad I'm glad you're able to get into it. And yeah, very cool. So so you know, a lot of people come to me. They want to start a fitness routine because they want to lose weight. And you said that that was a benefit for you. But yeah. I always try to tell them that you know. But there's more benefits than just losing weight. Can you like yes. maybe tell us how adding fitness has had a positive impact on your your life, maybe your business as well, um, other than just the weight loss? Well, more focus is definitely a big point. And I also really noticed that uh, I always said that I'm trying to work out in the, in the afternoon now, which is kind of my day slump. I'm, I'm, I'm not focused. My, after one to about three years, then my focus is just gone. And then if I just go out and run, then it gets back quicker and well, I make good use of the time that I'm actually focused. Awesome. Because I can stay behind the computer thinking, I have to do something, I have to get this work done, I have to work on this this for that client. And it's just I just know it's not going to happen. Awesome. So you come back to your work feeling like more focused and refreshed and... Yes, well, first there's the half, half hour after the workout. I'm like, you know, not doing anything right now. <laughs> just need to, <laughs> need to drink some water, eat something, relax, and then just go back into it. But yes, it does help me focus in the afternoon. It's really cool. That or you in do. the morning. Yeah. I, it is cool, though, because not a lot of people work out in the middle of the day. But I do like, you know, that's a, a great point where I think most of us do have that slump in the day where we're not as focused anymore. So just having yeah. a way to break it up, uh, you know, often we think we can just push through, but we're not being efficient anymore. So having that break no. is a good thing. It, it does really help. And I do notice that I, I did this morning and that just, I was more focused during the morning part, but I did notice that about two age, I was just, I'm, I'm, I was knackered. <laughs> I, was just, I was just gone. You needed your break. <laughs> I needed, I needed a break. And I was, I was walking around in a, in a different city with a 
carrying my laptop and everything. It's like, no, it's too much. I'm tired. <laughs> no, it's awesome. So, yeah. so yeah, that, that, that little middle of the day is a good, is a good time. Yes. And it, it just breaks up your day as well. Otherwise you're just sitting for eight hours straight. I mean, I, I know myself and I, I think it, that's the kind of the same for a lot of women entrepreneurs who are just like, oh, we'll get this work done and I really love what I'm doing and I'm putting in the full eight hours and before you know it, it's just gone from eight to eight and you've just, you haven't moved. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> for me today, I'm doing a lot of work at my computer today. I have a bunch of calls and so I've been trying to get up and get moving and, and it's just a different, yeah, different day. You have to be on top of it or you could just be working the whole time. <laughs> so Yes. Awesome. Yes, well, that's why I also have this one, the little Fitbit. Oh yeah, the Fitbit. <laughs> It, it does it does help keep you motivated like, oh, I've done only done a thousand steps today I need to really need to move <laughs> awesome so I guess you're on those days where you only have a thousand steps or you know I know you have that good routine going on and today you even woke up early in order to get your your fitness routine in but are there yeah. days that you miss a workout and how do, how do you feel and how do you get back on track when that happens I do I do, I do miss workouts. Uh, I've been uh, ill in the beginning of January and I just I haven't done anything for three weeks. And it just really does make me feel a bit grumpy. Like, I want to. But sometimes if you're like really tired and you have a deadline, it's just it's not going to happen. And then you have to choose it. We either get this work done because it's for a client and I want to get this done or get out and, and do your workout. So sometimes I'll just settle for five minutes of hooping or an extra up and down the stairs or just if if i if i'm not too knackered a bit of yoga but sometimes you, yeah you, you miss something yeah that, that's that's gonna happen it's bound to happen <laughs> and do an extra run tomorrow or the day after <laughs> yeah i think i think it's important you know I, I find a lot of people where they start a routine before it was that first day that they missed that kind of derailed them from their their focus on Staying on track. Yeah. So I think it's important to realize that even people that you know do triathlons that have a fitness routine that you can miss it, but then you can get you can get back on track. And even if it's like you said, a little bit in those times yeah. where it's more busy. Yeah, that's like um, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday I I just I wanted to do something and I, I didn't get around to it. And oh yeah, tough luck. My <laughs> warm up was an extra five minutes of hooping this morning. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I love hooping. It's it's. It's quick, it's easy, it's, it gets your blood going. And because I had to do something in my routine today that says jog, on, jog in the same place. And I, no, <laughs> no, just grab my hoop. <laughs> if I'm jogging, I want to go somewhere, not in the same spot. Yeah, I, I, I'm with you on that, being a runner. It's hard to just jog in place and feel like that's really doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> no. But awesome. Well, it's good that you have a good variety, even, you know, I'm like, Training for a triathlon has a lot of variety in and of itself, but that you have other yes. fun ways to fit things in. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm even training for a um, 240 kilometer long cycle track. This, uh, I think it's, yeah, it's May, 16th of May. Oh, wow. It's, it's called the 11 Cities. It's quite famous here in the Netherlands. And uh, well, I've signed up with my boyfriend and uh, we're, we're just going to do it. So we're going to go cycling every Sunday from now on. That's exciting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very cool. So yeah. I guess uh, if you were thinking back to, you know, before you got into the triathlons and maybe you hadn't really had fitness as part of your routine, what would be a suggestion you could give to the women listening that don't think they can get started or are having trouble to get started? Like, what would you, what, what would be some advice you give them about just getting started? Start with something you really like. Some start with something fun. If you're not a runner, just please don't start running. Just... <laughs> Or if if you really hate crunches, don't don't do them. Start start with something fun. Like if you really like dancing, get get a hoop, and start with five minutes a day, and then work your way up. And just don't try to do it every single day. I've I've started running with really little bits, little bits every day, uh, every other day, three three times a week, and mm -hmm. yeah, work my way up from there. Yeah. So just a little bit as something fun, and I really really do recommend a hoop. It's it's amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I have I have a weighted hula hoop that I used to use with some clients, but I haven't. I need to get just a regular one and just get that out again. And now I'm I'm inspired to to check some things out. <laughs> yeah, it's it's re it's really fun. It's it's even something I don't change into my workout clothes when I'm because it just it's something I just fit in between. I'm like oh, I'm set for an hour and run up, 
get the hoop for five minutes and go back down. I love it. That's, that's really, yeah. it makes it fun. <laughs> it, it makes it fun. Yeah. Can you do anything, any fancy moves? Or I always see that the, they're really inspiring and they do all these different moves, some <laughs> yeah. of the more advanced hoopers, but. <laughs> I've, I've tried the one where you hold the hoop in your hands and it just go like that and it just ends up flying across the room. <laughs> so do not try that in front of your computer because it will go. <laughs> it's like, this is a good way, unintended way to break up the work if you break your computer, but no. No. <laughs> not good. <laughs> no. <laughs> Awesome. I'm glad you're able to make it fun. And so one thing, and that, that is good advice, just starting with something fun. I think that's, you know, yeah. to me, running was, it might seem weird, but it was fun. There was something that uh, my dad did and we used to go watch road races. There was a really big road race that people would dress up for. So it just seemed like, you know, this is a really fun thing to do. And that's how I got into other areas of fitness. So the, I, I always say that to people as well, that you have to find something fun. And then, you know, you can worry about having a a well-rounded routine and doing everything perfect later, but um, just to get started needs to be fun. Yeah, well, because if, if you start with something with a, with a big routine, I, I noticed I've done them and then it, you, you don't want to do it. Right. <laughs> and then what's the point if you don't yeah. want to do it? Yeah, no, that's that's definitely true. That, that's great advice, making it fun. And, and yeah. then, you know, to make it really actionable for our viewers, I've been having all my interviewees do like a little dare. So something actionable you could dare them to do, uh, you know, even they could do today after watching the interview where they could get going. Um, what would you dare them to do? <laughs> well, I really, really loved the night training program. I have that on my tablet and it has these really, really small workouts but for about five minutes. Mm -hmm. So just, I would just say, just dare you to download the, the app and do a five minute workout on that. And I love it because it has uh, little videos and it just tells you where to place your hands and what to do. So if you're shy about where to go and what to do, it just tells you everything step by step. Awesome. So I'll have to, I'll have to get the link from you for that. But yeah, getting in a five yeah. minute workout, that's a good dare. Everyone yeah. has five minutes. <laughs> oh yeah. And just wait for their eyes to boil. Five minutes. <laughs> I love that. Awesome. So I guess the other thing I was going to ask you to share is, you know, we, we're talking about fitness and, and that's all good and inspiring, but, you know, we're also kind of close to the new year. So just wondering if you had like a word of the year, a mantra, or um, just some like a quote that you live by, just something to give us some added motivation in addition to the fitness motivation that you've given us. Well, I really, really like things to do things with passion. I really want to love what I do. So I think that the quote, at all costs, you must love what you do, is a really, really good one. And I think that goes for everything. Yeah, I love that. Is that by someone or is it? I, well, I'm, I'm not Something sure. Like... It actually, it, it showed up. <laughs> when I was doing, making quotes on, on Pinterest and it showed up on Canva. Okay. And I was like, yes, I love that one. That's, that's yeah. perfect. Yeah. No, that is, that is really nice. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I'm always very passionate about things and people might make fun of me but I don't I don't think there's any other way to uh no <laughs> to no, live your life it's, it's, I think it's the best way because when you work you do it for most of your life anyway so I just want to make it fun right yeah I, I definitely agree awesome. yeah well definitely have shared some amazing insights on getting started with the fitness routine and would love to hear you know how, how can people find out more about you after watching the interview and what you do when you're not well, I... doing your triathlete training <laughs> <laughs> no um, well, I, I have my blog on um, luchin.org, and we'll, I will send you the link for that. Mm -hmm. And then I blog about motivation, getting getting stuff done, uh, making sure you actually live a life that you really love. So I'm just sharing things for that. And on my other website is stephaniedegeus.nl, which I will also send you the link because, well, then you know how to spell it. Um, that's that's where I actually have my uh, where. I, work with copywriting clients and uh, help them just really really shine online and with their business and just take by taking care of the copywriting copy editing and everything else they need around text and copy yeah it's definitely that space I know I I could use some help with copywriting but <laughs> definitely needed and and I think like I think I said even in your bio but um where you can kind of relieve some of that you can actually focus on the business part versus yeah the other thing so we're yeah we're, we're I really want to help your time. Do that. yeah yeah, yeah time you, for, you, you, for you're good at something I'm good at something else so I may as well help with my thing to make your thing even better so 
Very cool. And then they can have more time to fit in fitness, right? So <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Plus they don't have to stress about copywriting and which is also saves you time. Very good. Well, I hope, yeah, yeah I mean, I, I love chatting with you today and I hope everyone will get to yes. check you out because especially the female entrepreneurs watching, I know, I know that copywriting and, and getting some tips and some motivation from your other website, we have a lot of good, we'll have a lot of good links for this interview for everyone. Yeah. Um, yeah. I hope, I hope it helps. And I just, I, I really love chatting with you. It was really great. Oh, thanks so much. Well, <laughs> this will conclude today's fitting in fitness <laughs> interview series interview. That was maybe not the best way of saying that. <laughs> it's like a tongue twister. But I hope that those of you watching will come back and join us for the rest of the series. Get inspired. Remember what Stephanie dared you to do. We're going to have a little link there for the app that she recommended. And if you use that or anything else, the five minutes of, of getting in some fitness and, and letting us know how you did with that, we, we hope that you accept that dare. And um, to see you soon. So thanks again for joining me and hope to see you, see you around. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome.